what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about scream six in this video here again today so i'm going to be talking about the idea of ghost face being present in two locations and the plot of this movie taking place in a town and then an even bigger city so we have a ghost face in a town and then a ghost face in a bigger city this is being brought to my attention and started to get my brain juices going when someone over on reddit who i will leave a link to this in the description but there might be some potential spoilers in it so if you click on the link in the description you're going in at your own risk but they are claiming that these are some potential new character names this account is relatively new too so of course this is not anything that's confirmed but it's important to remember if I'm not mistaken during the time of screen five a lot of stuff started popping up over on reddit during the same type of time frame like this which we're in we're in the pre-production stages of screen six a lot of the stuff that was appearing over on reddit was being told to us that that was being done purposely we even found out that one of the cast members was, was over on reddit interacting with people so who who knows <laughs> but apparently they're claiming the potential new cast members or not cast members but the potential new characters will be a character named rory leslie and christina so here's the thing about that rory could be just a name they've pulled in reference to rory Culkin, who we know played charlie in screen four leslie is someone who I guess you could consider her new maybe that's in reference to leslie mocker though so i guess you could say they're new if they actually appear in this movie so we get to see Stu mocker's sister and then christina christina could of course be in reference to christina carpenter who we were supposed to see in scream 5 but we didn't so her appearance in scream 6 i guess would make her a new character so as far as like the other stuff that was being mentioned here they're saying that the plot again takes place in one town and a bigger city this is coming again to us from a reddit user and again i'll leave a link to it in the description so you can see their comment in the thread of the post that they left this in so they're saying this will be the first with two locations and a ghost face killing in one and another ghost face killing in the other now how could that work that's what i primarily want to talk about how could that work you most likely will have I guess that one larger location will be for our supporting cast members of Tara, Mindy, Chad, and all those newbies. They could also be in the smaller town. But in the bigger city, maybe that's where we'll see Gail dealing with Ghostface, see Sydney dealing with Ghostface. And then they end up culminating into this narrative where both like maybe there's something that goes on where they were neither party the sydney gail party and the Terra sam party they don't even realize that they're both dealing with ghost face killing sprees but something happens of course in in the middle where someone reaches out to the other most likely i prefer the carpenters reach out to sydney and they say hey you know ghost face is back yada yada, yada. and you know then they disclose ghost face is back you what do you mean we have a ghost face over here and then like basically the whole how the whole narrative could be structured as to why maybe sydney didn't even bother reaching out to them she could say yeah you know those girls don't need to be bothered with that so she didn't bother reaching out to them and she just kind of dealt with the ghost face that was in her location and sam and tara were dealing with the ghost face that were in their location because both parties assumed that it would be best to not get each other involved not knowing that you both have been dealing with ghost face killers who might be working together and i think yes that could be a very unique thing to explore in the sense of are these two working together or are they not because then that would have that question looming in the back of your head maybe in the end you find out that there are two people that are working together but there's one individual who's working by himself separately and going specifically after gail and sydney for their own reason and we have someone and their partner going after sam and tara and the survivors there for their own reason and then they could end up culminating into this type of clash where you have this trio of ghost face killers who decide to come together and they're pit against the survivors that you have of sam tara sydney gale and whatever other characters that are left by the end of scream six now i'm sure what if this were to be true it's got to be pinned a little bit better than what i'm trying to make it out to be uh but the fact that we could potentially see something like that i think that would be interesting now again this reddit user could just be puffing smoke 
but it's just fun for me to come on here and speculate which i like to do a lot uh and then just having that idea of two ghost face killers in two different locations and then having that question linger in the back of your mind are these people working together and then watching our protagonist deal with certain deal with separate events going on in two different separate locations to the point where they don't even know that both parties are dealing with their own ghost face killers they decide that it'd be best not to get people involved for their own safety just because of what happened in the fifth movie and then unbeknownst to them like i was saying they don't even know that they probably should have just came together from the get-go because of the fact that you know you both are dealing with ghost face killers who may be working together <laughs> and have a grudge out against all of you the other thing i wanted to talk about was this tweet that came out from big screen leaks who confirmed that casting was indeed underway so that tells me that blackmore auditions are definitely occurring they're occurring out in canada most likely the cast has to be rounded up in terms of the survivors and the people they want to have in screen five like hayden pantier i hope if she has agreed then just the returning stars miss melissa barrera jenna ortega nev courtney which that person also has claimed that nevs indeed did sign on but again no receipts so again not not really much to say that they are worth trusting but i just want to really talk about that idea of us having two distinctive killers in two separate locations and having that lingering question while the movie unfolds as to whether or not these two are working together or are we about to have our first ever ghost face killers who are not working together from the jump but they come together in the end maybe a little bit of that is just too coincidental in the fact that you both just happen to be going around doing killings not knowing that each other exists but now that you know you want to work together man i mean maybe that's a bit extreme for a screen movie maybe it'd be best if everyone was just working together and it'd be revealed like that in the end and not have a revelation where oh i didn't know you were out here buddy let's team up like <laughs> something like that that might come off a little bit too silly on screen so i don't think we're in woodsboro i think we'll be at a college setting and then just another town maybe new york even where gail is at for whatever reason and it's just a gail centric narrative could you imagine let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future without it in mind guys i will see you in the next video